everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a review of the Shark Flex Style, which if you haven't seen or heard about this, this is a take on the Dyson Airwrap, which is a pricey investment for sure. And this comes in maybe about half the price-ish. Anyway, so here we have this. I'm going to let you know that I have already tried this, so this is not a first impressions video. I've tried it. The clips you are going to see are me using it for the first time though. I'm gonna walk you through what I actually picked out because there are some variations on the tools that you can get with it. I'll walk you through what I chose for my box and then I'll walk you along on how I use them and you'll see the clips running on the overlay. So anyway, let's get started. It does come with styling instructions and it does walk you through, obviously, all the different tools. And also you can see, they do give you a nice layout of how to actually use them. I did follow along with that on my first go around, but as I started using it more, I ended up just adapting my own version. I'll also just address my hair currently. So this was the next day after I styled it with the Flex Style. So it's not giving a very good representation, but for me who has very fine, thin, limp hair this is actually really impressive for me so maybe that's a little spoiler alert whether or not i actually like it or not but anyway just wanted to mention that that's the current state of my hair next day all right let's just get into it so here we have the actual wand and you can see here all the functions so it does have the on off so that's on low and that's the highest. So it's not too loud. I've had louder, to be honest with you. So this is the fan, and then the next one down is the heat. I keep them in the middle. Just the way you'll see it here is the way I keep it. This is the on and off switch. This is the air vent, so you don't want to hold it and block that as you're working. And then this here is the cool shot. And if you know when you dry your hair, you should pop it on a cool setting just to set your hair. If you turn around, you see here, you have this button and if you unlock it, it actually turns this so it's shaped like a blow dryer. You'll see when I first used it, I just had it straight out and then I um, eventually learned to turn it. So it's a little bit more blow dryer like and you can just go ahead and dry it as you would your hair. Once I get into the other pieces, I'll explain further. I'll give you a little bit more insight into all of that. But so that's a nice tool that it actually turns and you're not holding it like this. And then here is the lock and release button where your tool actually sits on top of it. I know this may sound pretty basic, but in case you're not used to something like this, I just wanted to explain that a little bit. So here's what I chose. So I have, let's not um, judge here because there's probably some hair that you, you may or may not see. So anyway, here's the oval brush. And this, if you know anything about the Revlon Styler, this is reminiscent of that style so it's just an oval shape and then there's also the paddle brush and you can see there just a regular paddle and then it also has the air concentrator you won't see me using this in the clips because i actually didn't even realize that it was there at the time but you can see here it just snaps right into place and you want to release it it's just a click of a button and all the tools just snap right in and then of course what most people are probably interested in are the wands and you can see it has the left and the right and that's important so you can snap it on and when you are holding it obviously it goes left arm left side and then the same for the right right arm and you'll notice that it gives you the arrows. 
so it actually tells you the direction so for me I'm using them just like this because I want all my waves to go away from my face although I know that people may choose to do back and forth like one section back the other forward depending on how much volume and just depending on your preference all of mine goes all the way back though. I also wanted to mention that this tool, it's more salon blowout than it is like a curl. So I hope at the end of the clips, you'll see the end result and agree with me that it's more salon like. When you first go to use this, your hair is wet, you know, towel dry, that type of thing. Use the blow dryer. I mean, I like the concentrator and just blow your hair out to like I would say like 85-90% dry for me is perfect for me to then use the wand. So I will just hold it up. My hair obviously is dry and I'll just show you generally I just like split my hair down the middle and then I usually just pin up the crown and then just start on the bottom layer first and what the directions say is to take a piece and then you start here in the middle and then just let it wrap but i will say sometimes i just take it from the end and bring it in and i'll show you what i mean so i'll take it so it wraps and then you just bring it in hold it for 10 seconds and then hit it with the cool shot for another 10 seconds Now, it may not look like much, especially that my hair is not wet. So I apologize for that, but you can see it better in the clips for sure. Here, it just gave a nice loose curl. So if you just wanted to touch up like next day, I think you can certainly do it on dry, but I do have a spray bottle. I'm just going to dampen my hair a little bit just to give you a little bit of a better idea. So now it's a little bit damp. So I'm using the viewfinder and not a mirror, but hopefully this works. So I know I said I usually pull this back, but just for this demonstration, if it's picking it up but obviously once it's done and of course I'd have to do the back but I usually start from the back and come forward then I turn on the other side and do the same that way and then I bring my crown down and work that way as well and what I do because it, it can be not annoying but if you're not used to it like keep switching them out so I'll do my left side I'll do my right side and then I take my crown down and start on my right side since I still have the wand on and then I go back to the left. Not a big deal, just wanted to share that it takes a little getting used to, that's for sure, especially if you're not used to working with different attachments all in one blow dry as well as getting used to the wands. There is a learning curve, but it does make it very easy. Yeah, and the arrows help obviously, but the right and left is what's key. And then what I'll do is I'll usually spray it with some hairspray and it holds a curl. And yes, does it fall out? It certainly does. However, I have much more body throughout the day, even going into the next day. You saw how my hair looked in the beginning of the video and that was next day. So that's a huge win for me. I really am very impressed with it. I've never tried the Dyson. I'm sure it's fantastic, but at that price point, I, I just can't. I don't have a lot of hair. My hair, like I just described, 
doesn't warrant something to that level in my opinion i think this is perfect i think if you're looking to test a product like this out without going full on into the dyson i think it's fantastic it's a great product i don't even really know if you need to go the one step to the dyson also wanted to mention that when you saw the clips I had all my hair products in. I'm not one to really use a heat protector, which I probably should since my hair is bleached, but I don't. I'll leave the products down below that actually I use. I really like the way leave-in conditioner. I think that's great and that may act not necessarily as a heat protector, but it does give another layer and then I use a mousse and I'll, like I said, I'll leave everything linked down below. I understood the issues with the Revlon because I did have one. I don't know about the version two of that because I didn't purchase it, but heat is heat. So we'll put that out there. However, my recollection of the Revlon to this, I hands down won't compare the two as far as damaging and burning and all of that. You don't have to worry about that, honestly. And as I began to use this more, I certainly have used these also because if you notice in the clips i'm using just the blow dryer and then i just went into the wands i didn't use the brushes but for me i i want to say i perfected the use of the brushes and the concentrator they do have one with the diffuser if you have more of wavy hair and the diffuser is something that you're used to they do have that option again that's not for me but I just want you to know that it is, um, it's an option. I also want to say that changing the pieces out, they do get hot, but not burning hand hot. They definitely are warm to the touch. So just be careful up here is how I would try and pull it out as opposed to going full on touching the actual pieces. So they all have like almost like a pull tab if you would, except for the paddle brush. But again, it's it doesn't get that hot that it's unbearable that you cannot take it out. My pros are that I, I'm not doing a comparison of the Dyson, so I don't wanna say the price point and bring that into the equation. If you were someone who went to the salon weekly to get your blowouts this certainly can replace that in my opinion yes there's nothing like somebody else doing your hair and you're walking out and feeling like a million bucks clearly i get it but as far as i'm concerned this does exactly what i was hoping it was going to do on my fine limp hair so it delivered on that i, I honestly i don't even know what else i mean i can't rave about it anymore of course i i am only comparing this to itself because i don't have anything else to have compared it to so my thoughts are that it is a great product it does what i wanted it to do i would recommend it to anyone the con for me there are not many i would say there's a learning curve but that's more for the wands not necessarily for the brush not for the device itself the other con it i can understand what people are saying that having the buttons down here as opposed to like right here because you know when you're holding it this makes the most sense to hold and be able to control everything like when i use the cool shot it it just everything just fits right in this area not as low down but you get used to it you can use your other hand especially that you're not holding another brush like everything is all in one so it's not like you can't use your other hand to turn it on and off so it's not an issue for me but i do want to point that out that the control being a little further up might be something that they think about changing in the next version again not a game changer for me i like that there are two separate controls for the heat and the fan and that it's you know it's low medium high fan and then low medium and hot heat settings and then of course having a separate cool shot is fantastic and i do want to also mention that you can do no heat you don't you can completely turn it off where there is no heat and it's just blowing a little bit cooler air so it's not only the cool shot that you're getting the cold air from or cool air 
So I hope you liked my review and if you would like to see other things reviewed, please leave comments down below. Let me know also in the comments down below if you have tried this and if you have the Dyson and you can compare the two, that would be helpful. I'd just like to hear your feedback, whether you're interested in something like this and if you used it and what your comments are and pros and cons from your perspective. I will have it linked down below along with the hair products I use. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you all in my next video.